The worst guy. What do you usually eat? Spaghetti? Yeah. Maybe it's spoons? Perhaps a chopstick? Or maybe you're a weirdo and you use your hands instead like a barbaric feet you out of way if you actually do this. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, I respect I respect that. My point is that all of this all of these are extremely valid and nothing's wrong with any of the uh utensils mentioned. Sorry. Uh, uh, what, what, what was that? You, 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 use, you use a different thing? You, you use forks? You said what? You. You. You actual degenerate. You, you, you scum. You, you actually use forks to eat things? Oh my god. Actually, I'm un unbelievable. Unacceptable. You, you should be ashamed of yourself but you know i'll be a, the bigger man here and give you a benefit of the doubt that you are actually just peer pressured by society to follow such blasphemy but before we get to discussing the redundancy of forks only a small percentage of the ocean are actually explored which means we know more about space than we know about our oceans Let that sink one in for a bit. Just like the Titanic submarine. What are forks and what are they usually used for? As most of you know, most forks are either made out of stainless steel, which if you didn't know, is made by mixing molten iron with uh, an element, element called chromium. Uh, no relation to Google or plastic. By the way, if you actually use plastic utensils to eat hot food, please stop immediately. You're actually gonna contract cancer. But but you know, I'm pretty sure you're less likely to develop cancer from consuming melted bisphenol A compared to watching your average recommended YouTube shorts, which is usually some guy purposely taking clips out of context and purposely misinterpreting them for ad revenue. Or maybe it's the guy who keeps naming his shorts. Respect, fire, fire, stream emoji, fire emoji, and the clips probably just some guy fucking eating his dog's shit or something. I'm acting like I'm a, I'm a, I'm any better than that. Okay then, so uh, let's talk about the alleged Alleged uses of forks. It is said here that it's usually used to uh, hold a piece of meat ste steadily so you can cut it with a knife or so you can carry that said piece of meat onto your mouth. Maybe there is more to the usage of forks. Okay, it says here uh, it can also be used to split pieces of meat. In, into pieces. My brother in Christ, a spoon can literally do both and so much better. Oh, for fruit's sake. Do you get what I what I meant by redundancy? And I have literal use for splitting those in half. And even then, a spoon can literally do that better. Oh my. Alright, we're, go we're gonna give uh, spoons more, even more lenience. Maybe we're actually just being ignorant to the actual proper way of using it. So, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming I uh, already recorded the uh, article thing. Uh, it, it'd be weird if I don't have a So here we have a wikihow article that will tell us how to properly use a fork. It's got about... Uh, Two and a half stars. Also, we're going to Wikihow because we know Wikihow is the uh, most help helpful website of all time. So, uh, here we have a. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what. Hold your fork in your left hand. Most European eaters keep the. The knife in the right hand for cutting. If you're setting the table for European style eating, 
make sure to arrange it. the fork oh okay that looks very uncomfort uncomfortable is this man okay his hands move unnaturally also what 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 the f what the hell is this am i a narcissist or an empath those who like me what is my aesthetic with am i gay why can't i sleep so jacob okay okay do it minds save lives uh, we're not gonna talk about that ad You could have just eaten that with a spoon, but okay, okay, okay. So we have uh, eating the Amer the American way, the uh, the land of the free way, how they do it in in cheeseburger capital or something. Here we we have a guy cutting a carpet. Why are you cutting a pre-cut cucumber? Uh, sir, it appears that you're, you have dislocated your, uh, it, is this your left or your right hand? I'd suggest, I'm not a doctor, but I'd suggest you go into the ER. Uh, you, you just, you just you reuse the same example. Whatever. Uh, decide which way is more efficient. So as you can see, none of this is efficient at all. You could have done. You could have just eaten it with a spoon instead, and you wouldn't even have to uh, do a do a three-step thing. Maybe, but it makes a uh, makes it no four-step thing. But it makes a. Uh, it is easier, I guess. So we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, ask a very important question to uh, WikiHow, and that is how to take over the White House. European style eating may take some practice if you're new to the American method. But they're the same. They're literally... What the he what the hell are you talking about? This is literally the... Don't pull out your pitchforks just yet. We first must learn who invented the uh, usage of fork. So uh, I did some research and it turns out nobody really knows who the guy is. So uh, he basically fe fell fell onto the obscurity you know this it's actually kind of wholesome that we're talking about that uh look, because we're basically acknowledging his uh existence by the way while doing the researching the most i actually found to uh first documented of fort usage was far far back during the bronze age of Kijia culture and the shang dynasty during the uh, bc times also to also to note that the uh, Byansatine uh, Princess Teopanu flexed her stupidity to the westerners and started copying her. And what I meant by that is that she uh, she, she 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 showed she showed them how to use the port. It also says here that some guy named Peter Damien called out the uh, Byansant Byzantine uh, princesses for their uh fort usage saying that they're mostly just a vanity item also keep in mind the uh, introduction of the forks to venice it will be important for the very next thing i'll be talking about now i'll tell you the real reason for the downfall of the Byzantine empire the conquest of constantinople didn't happen because the ottomans gang the defenders of the empire nor was it because of sultan mehmed ii reading sun tzu art of war 
It's actually because of forks. If only they didn't use forks for eating and instead let them stay in the uh, PvP meta, then it would probably have them pissed off the Greeks and would have them commit aggression motivated game ending to the Italians and would probably had made the union between the East Romans and West Europeans successful. Oh, greetings, Italian man. How are you doing, my friend? Wait, what are you doing with that trident? Are you mocking our culture? You ignorant piece of- Anyway, that's all I have to say for this video. And uh, congrats. You actually made it here, and then click off in the first couple of seconds. Oh wow. Well, are you expecting some kind of reward? You, you're actually very entitled. You know what? One like equals kidney stone. I will personally deliver it, it to you. I promise that it'll come. I promise that it's not gonna come. I'm just bullshitting you. Now go. Subscribe and piss off. Word of encouragement from Shio Chan. You do, you do, do, but.